Hello everyone, I am Conquering History Games and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. Today I am going to be doing a sponsored video. This is Sigma Theory Global Cold War by Goblin Studios, which has given me this, uh, this game. Uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, this is made from the same people who did the sci-fi game out there. Uh, so this is a really interesting narrative uh, and yet turn-based espionage based game which effectively um, well I probably should just explain explain from the beginning there's a lot going on in this game so it's really interesting and that's why I think you guys are gonna like it a lot uh, let's actually turn the music down just a tiny bit more okay great so the concept of this game is that in the near future a paradigm shifting Scientific discovery looms over the world, promising radical new technologies. The world's superpowers realize they could have the power to destroy the global financial system and wipe out entire countries or even gain access to immortality. That's right, I said immortality. It gets crazy. Uh, in the best ways. However, this discovery, called the Sigma Theory, can only be harnessed by a handful of scientists. So you, the player, are placed at the head of your country's Sigma Division. Your objective is to ensure that it is your nation that reaps the benefits of Sigma Theory before anyone else. To achieve this, you'll have powerful resources at your disposal, a cadre of the world's most elite covert agents, advanced tactical drones, and of course you gotta use your own skills in diplomacy and subterfuge. So, it's a turn-based espionage narrative, as I said, and you're gonna do a lot of field agents because you have to go kidnap scientists and things like that. Uh, now there's a lot of aspects to this game when uh, I'm not gonna log in uh, because it says log in that that really means load uh, but We're gonna be starting a brand new game I just logged in to make sure there was no bugs that everything seems to be functioning correctly because uh, this game is still going through active hot fixes uh, Because I believe it has not even been released uh, to the general public yet um, Anyway, let's start up a brand new account. So it's gonna erase my current save. That's fine Okay, so for the name we're gonna be going conquering Whoop. Conquering Dang it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, my pinky is always so heavy on that shift button. Alright, so I did a poll on this uh, earlier on my community tab. So we'll be playing as Russia, but what allegiance you choose gives you different sorts of bonuses. So for example, the United States will find it easier to persuade scientists to work with them. Russia, who we will be playing, says that the first Russian scientist performs particularly well. Might as well go through all of them. China, the first Asian recruited, is a master of martial arts. India, diplomatic relations with other countries are moving to a higher level. So that's kind of a passive, continuous effect. In France, the first Asian recruited should be an expert in seduction. Gotta have those honey pots, right? Uh, the United Kingdom, the first Asian recruited, will always be loyal to their country. Germany, the first German scientist, can work in any specialty. The first agent recruited in Turkey will become an expert in firearms. For Korea, the first agent recruited will become a master of disguise. And in Japan, the first Japanese scientist cannot be seduced or turned to work for an external power. I guess they're supplying him with enough, uh, they're, they're, they're like generating waifus. It's like a 3D scanner, I'm imagining. So he pretty much has his harem. So he's not gonna be able to be seduced by any agent, not just any one. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty difficult. It's basically impossible, as it says cannot be seduced but uh really back to the fun work so we're gonna be playing as russia so uh the first thing is so my name is uh conquering history games so now the first thing you do interestingly enough is you find yourself a wife or husband depending on if you are uh, playing a man or a woman uh, or actually no it doesn't really matter you can have your spouse be a man or a woman but we're gonna go with a woman um so you then cannot have a spouse from your home country and they'll have a, a corresponding profile. So I'm going to pick somebody just probably purely based on looks. Ooh, she kind of looks like Boomer from Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I'm definitely not min-maxing this right now. If you guys want me to end up, you know, if I end up, if you guys end up liking this game, I'll definitely will play it some more, play it different ways. And uh, maybe I can start working on a guide for min-max things. This is... Jeremy only has one woman? Ah, because they have four men. 
All right, who looks good and who also has a name I probably can pronounce? Asika Kimura, is she like a biker chick? I think we are gonna go with, I do like her freckles. Hmm, I'm usually not into the short hair, but she's kind of working this. Maybe, man, France, I like a lot of France's. Uh, no, coming back over here to India, cool glasses. I think this is a reference to, uh, I forget, like the glasses and just the get up in the general. I think this is referring to that one uh, Indian woman who was general during World War II. Uh, I think we're gonna go with Zulu Huang. Uh, she kind of looks like Boomer slash Athena from Battlestar Galactica. So, yeah, we'll go with her. Alright. Her allegiance is to China. The Great Russia-China Alliance. Polkovnik history. There is a little bit of dialogue, but it's only here at the beginning, really, and then we're going to jump into the game. Polkovnik history games. I am Igor Lavrov, and I ordered your recruitment. I'll be your superior for the next few months. You'll be directly accountable to me. Conquering. As a specialist in both field operations and delicate diplomatic negotiations, the place is at the head of counter-espionage. The Russian government has an even more important mission for you. Several days ago, the scientific community developed the Sigma Theory, a scientific method capable of producing rapid advances with the potential to throw the world into chaos. Within weeks, we'll see the emergence of a new weapon of new weapons with unimaginable destructive power, as well as tools that can influence the economy, society, energy, transport, and even the human mind. Our civilization will change beyond recognition. Russian leaders want to monopolize Sigma technology. <clears throat> the country that controls Sigma will control the world. Your mission, discover these Sigma technologies with the best scientists at your side. Do what you must to gather a team of agents and use persuasion, diplomacy, and force to acquire the few scattered scientists able to work on these technologies. We currently have two in our own labs. We've given you a surveillance drone and a combat drone to assist in your field missions. You also have access to diplomatic support to conduct negotiations with the leaders of rival nations. I am transferring you to our tactical operations so you can proceed with recruiting your team. The water here. Okay, so this is really fun and interesting here. We have to recruit four additional agents from around the world to help us with this. Uh, but there's caveats to them. Some are stronger than others. And just because you click one, so even if you see one and you say, that guy's awesome or that girl's awesome, I definitely want her on the team, you can fail to recruit her if you uh, don't do it properly. And I'm sure you could eventually memorize the uh, answers and responses to this. But I have not done that. I've I've only kind of done two run throughs. So let's let's see who we want here. Now we want a good balanced team, actually. Although this guy right here, 0.8888888, and it's just because eight is such a, an important number to the Chinese, so he puts it eight times. Uh, but let's look let's look for somebody who's really strong in one field or the other. And also, there's a lot of uh, locked out here blacked out areas here. It seems that as you play the game more, you can unlock additional agents. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, is... And these ones with the stars on them, you can only recruit one of them. We are going to... Let's go for somebody with big brain power. Hmm, okay, right here. Mystery. Profile. Her name is Madison Dew. Her origin is the United States. It's important to read these in order to recruit them. Madison lost her mother at a very young age and her ambitious father encouraged her academic pursuits. This culminated in her admission to Harvard at the age of 14 where she studied psychology, medicine, and law. She's been on the radar of the intelligence services since the publication of singular and insightful theses on an international diplomatic theory. It's tempting to think of mystery as a modern Sherlock Holmes her three areas of expertise lend themselves naturally, not infrequently, to solving notorious police cold cases. Uh, so she has reconnaissance in America, France, and, uh, excuse me, uh, Amer the United States, the United Kingdom, and France. And so any, any, care, any agent that you get can eventually do reconnaissance in any country. But of course it pays to have uh, some agents that are... Um, they're already familiar with the country that they're going into because it's going to save you time once the game actually starts. 
So she's got a big brain, not very strong. She's a pacifist. She may refuse to carry out orders that they deem too brutal. So th in some ways, this is kind of like Crusader Kings too, because they have traits that affect how they play. She's weak-willed, so she's less effective at coercing urges to defect. She's methodical, so she has excellent results, though she does tend to go slower. And she is a loner, so she's incapable of seduction operations. I guess if you're somebody who's uh, in Harvard getting three degrees at the age of 14, you kind of passed on uh, your, your learning the art of seduction. Uh, okay, so we're going to try to recruit her. She also has no arrest warrants, which is really good. So every time you, you pick an agent, they're going to say, why should I risk my own skin? And uh, you have to pick the answer that she wants to hear. So, for example, if I tell her I'm here to offer you a chance for the biggest adrenaline rush you've ever had, she's probably going to tell me uh, I'm not interested in what you're trying to do. I think the correct answer here is going to be I need your insights and skills to make the world a better place. Yes, we're going to make a great team, you and I. Awesome, awesome. So we got one already. Excellent. Uh, let's now go for somebody who is very strong who's got uh shiva looks real good but kepi blanc has i think more points overall actually no espoir espoir might be the best overall in terms of points because she has she's got third she has a 13 point spread i don't think anybody else has that much no no there's some of their points add up to 12 but she okay so you know what? let's let's try to get her Name, Cassandre Salvat. Well-read and athletic. British in origin. Oh, French getting blown out. Oh, so, I'm so sorry, all you French people who are watching this, because you're going, hell yeah, hell yeah. That, sorry for cursing, but, oh, yeah, the French agent is the best, and then she's actually British. Cassandra is a brilliant, practical philosopher who believes in goodness. With this mindset, she specialized as an international lawyer in the most hopeless cases, successfully acquitting the bloodiest dictators and the most violent warmongers. Bizarrely, it was also she who submitted the evidence to charge them in the first place. In her worldview, it is the forgiveness of society that mends the harm caused. In her tireless pursuit of punishment and forgiveness for human evil, she has surveyed many dangerous terrain and developed unique coping skills. It would be a perfect agent if it wasn't for her philosophical doctrine. Very interesting. So she's considered elite. Uh, they are they're expensive so we only get one also a pacifist black belt good in unarmed combat that's good so she doesn't have to carry around a gun she's honest less effective at bribery she's also an eel if an extraction op operation needs to be aborted this agent six cents for pursuers makes them especially elusive also has reconnaissance in france and in the united kingdom which is actually a, a downside to her because we already have somebody who's good at that but we'll go ahead and try to recruit her anyway Oh, we just automatically recruited her. Hmm, that must have... Okay, yeah, I think there's been a hot fix since I last tested, so maybe elite agents you always get. You only get one. But that was weird. Okay, uh, now I want somebody who's strong. We can't get Shiva anymore, but we can get either Catch or Liberty. Let's see what they have Reconnaissance in. You see, that's Reconnaissance in America. I don't need that. But Catch, he's got Reconnaissance in um, Korea. Anybody else as strong as them? Maestro, just in the UK. Ooh, he's a seducer. That's interesting. This guy's a patriot. Operations in their home country will be quicker than usual. So he might just, we might, might just drop this guy in, uh, we might just drop him off in Korea and uh, keep him there for a while. But it doesn't look like he's good for much else. Hmm. I think we're going to go with Ketch. So hailing from Central Korea, Su Man Ki is a triple champion in Sisirium, a violent Korean traditional sport. Standing at 2.1 meters and weighing at 170 kilograms, he could easily inspire terror, but he is a gentle giant, a fervent Catholic, and an animal lover. If you need brute force to solve a problem, Su Man Ki could be your man. He's weak-willed, honest. Uh, I don't think I like this guy's traits. Let's go up here to the maestro. 
See, we have a seducer here. Few scientists can reduce this, uh, resist this agent's charms. He's good in armed conflict. He's a wheelman, intricate web weaver. Uh, honest. Hmm. Thomas Breckenridge. Born to a family of the lesser English nobility, Thomas followed the career path of the ideal British spy, a top student at Enton, then Oxford, politics and poetry. After accepting an officer's commission, he passed the UK Special Forces selection easily. He has experience in the Afghan and Iraqi theaters, but it is in the corridors of the embassy that he excels, a talent that MI6 has yet to discover. All right, we'll try to get him. Uh... Let's see, escape your destiny. You can met out justice on a global scale. For you to spend the rest of your lives on the front line waiting to get shot would be a profound waste of time, talent. Let's try escape your destiny. Tell your superiors I won't be joining you. Damn, okay, that's fine, that's fine. How about Tiger? I want, a, I want a seducer, at least one. Here we go, Aphrodite is a seducer. She's pretty good overall. Although the Korea thing doesn't help. Uh, maybe we should go with uh, Yi Taoju here. Got any others? Omerta. Interesting. Um, okay, let's go with... Yeah, we're going to go with all the eights here. Yi Taoju has lived it because he's loyal, stubborn, and a seducer. Good overall stats. He's lived a thousand. Uh, Yi Taozhu has lived a thousand lives and a thousand adventures. He has stolen suitcases full of triad cash from their own casinos in Ningbo. Posted a selfie of himself dancing on the British Prime Minister's desk. When a tsunami is looming, he reaches for his surfboard. He, he lives every day as though it were last. It often very nearly is. He's capable of anything, whether you like it or not. So he's recon China, but he also has a, an arrest warrant there. Oh, we just recruited him automatically. What is going on? Why do I have to ask questions for some of them? Maybe it's because my wife's from China? But then, hmm, I don't know. Uh, so we still, okay, we got the big brain power. I still want somebody who can, who can pack a punch. Liberty, firearms, reckless, arrogant, exfiltration, expert, and jinx. Hmm... Saint gives me some help in India. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's go with him. I want somebody who's reconned India as well. So, Ikirala is a revered Brahmin. Ikirala Apalacha R. Yulu. He's still energetic at 90 years of age. Despite his venerable appearance, his meditative practices, and his spiritual disciplines grant him the verve of an athletic 40 year old who is also an expert in martial arts. He pairs his Vedic doctrine with a personal philosophy he calls New India. His strong principles and bias towards action make him a frequent commentator on and participant in Indian politics. Ik Kerala would be the first to laugh at the idea, but he is in many ways the perfect spy. Who would look at this high-profile, opinionated old man and suspect him of being a spy? His black belt, master of disguise, uh, can travel freely, that's good. He's a survivor, difficult to break under interrogation. Honest, so he's not very good at bribery. Uh, and a patriot. Try to recruit him. Uh, our wolf. Okay, so... Okay, if we act right now, we can steer the world towards its true destination, peace. Let's try that. I'm impressed, you got yourself another field agent. Awesome, cool, so we're finally done. It's kind of, sorry that took so long, but it's sort of important. We don't have any serious heavy hitters, but we do have a couple of black belts. So, we just won't give them guns, and uh, they should be fine. We, we got good overall agents. So this is the actual map uh, where things take place. It's the year 2029, and uh, again, we are attempting to take control of uh of the sigma theory currently we're ranked number one but you can see everybody's rankings here we're not really ranked number one it's just because the game has started so you have a few actions that you can take here uh let's kind of go through what everything means though uh so first off 50 percent in the russian flag 
This is our relation with our superiors. The game ends if this falls to zero. The higher this statistic, the more your government will give you special rewards, such as replacing your agents. So we want this to be as high as possible. This is the Doomsday Clock. It shows international tensions. When the counter is completely full, global nuclear war has begun and the game ends. This is extremely important. When the counter reaches 15, you can access the game's ultimate technology, which provides access to victory. When a technology is discovered, it's three points. When it's discovered but given to a lobby, it's two points. And if we reverse engineer someone else's technology, it's one point. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. This is online stuff here, I think, and that's just the settings. Okay, so now, uh, you know, you just click and drag to move around the map. So there are a few major areas here. Uh, obviously, it's all the countries that were involved at the, that you can choose from. From the start of the game, there's 10 of them. US, UK, France, Germany, Turkey, India, China, Russia, South Korea, and Japan. Uh, over here, it'll show uh, how well we are doing our different specializations. So right now we have two scientists. Uh, we can click on them here. So for example, Alexander Alexevich Perlman, he's a genius, loyal, and chase. He graduated in finance. Uh, he's a man who's into women, so he could potentially be seduced by a woman. And uh, the other scientist we have is Vera Vasilyevna Kovalyeska. She's incorruptible, so she can't be bribed, but she uh, is flighty, so she could very easily be seduced. And she's chauvinistic, she graduated in robotics, so those are the two things. So yeah, we, we're specializing in robotics and finance right now. We don't have anybody for, um, whoops, we don't have anyone for neurosciences, health, or astrophysics right now. Um, now, over here we have a combat drone, which could be used to launch airstrikes. That's not really going to be coming up right now. And we have a surveillance drone. This defensive device can be used to detect tre threats during an exfiltration and support your agents in their investigations. Now we have our, uh, our actual agents, which you could do five things with at any given time. Uh, none of which is available here in the home country. So what we're going to do... We're going to start by taking our Indian agent, and of course, we'll send him down to India. So, uh, you, you, you basically have this option every time you want to move. You could fast travel, which will only take a day. Of course, you, know, you, want, to be, you want to get the jump on people. You want to be doing things as quick as possible, but you'll have to leave your uh, firearm behind. Or we can choose to infiltrate. Uh, now, if I'm, I've already forgotten, but uh, I believe that he is a black belt. One sec. Uh, no, that's notifications. That's going to come in a minute. Uh, here we go. So you just click this button here to take a look at your agents. So, by the way, here's our wife. Our relationship is at 60%. There's going to be events for that later. So, uh, the saint here, we're just going to call them by their, uh, by their, their, you know, agent name. So, saint, he's a black belt. He's effective in unarmed combat. So, I see no reason... In a minute there we go oh yeah this just shows I forgot I forgot I should talk about this as well um, so this this shows the the different branches and how things are going in terms of Sigma theory it shows you how far along um, that you, you are towards winning the game because you, you have to you get 15 of these uh, and also when we discover some I'll come in here and show you what they're actually doing so for example right now we're working on finances uh, and we're going to get stability in 7 to 20 turns. This can predict m financial market movements with effectively 100% accuracy. Theoretically, this could be the end of capitalism as we know it, for better or worse. Uh, so you just click the globe here in the corner to go back there. But anyway, moving back to Saint. So Saint is good at unarmed combat, so we're just going to have him abandon his uh, firearm and fast travel. So in the next turn, he'll be up there. All right, next up. Uh, we have Mystery here. We are going to send her way out to the United States where she's probably going to be settled for a while. Uh, see that's her home country so she just walks right in. We'll send our French one to France. And we'll send our Chinese one. We'll send eight. I'm going to call him 88. Uh, or 88. We'll send him to China. Uh, we'll have him infiltrate because as you can see here warning uh, an Arrest warrant has been issued against this agent in this country in case of fast travel This agent may be arrested by local authorities upon his arrival. So he's just gonna infiltrate 
and we'll try to end our turn. They'll usually let you know if um, there's something else that you still have avail available. Uh, so don't worry too much about accidentally ending your turn and you haven't done anything, because as the game goes on, it starts to become a lot to juggle. Uh, so it shows our progress. We're 13% of the way towards getting a finance thing and 9% towards robotics. Okay, so Espoir is already here in um, France. We have an available target. So Anna, Anne Casanave, she's 54, woman and interested in men. She's a diplomat, but we don't know her traits. We could try to take her right away um, by locating scientists. What we're gonna instead do is, so we already have an established network in this country, good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna investigate her uh, and try to see what could be used to uh, to bring her over. Do we need to seduce her? Do we need to bribe her? What? Now over here, incidentally, we could do we could do things. Uh, there's like a, a shorthand menu here. So what we'll do is we'll have them investigate. Also, Susan Harris, who is a woman interested in men and a diplomat. Okay, so investigate that. We're gonna try to find something in their agent's past. So because she has because she has a strong uh, Intellect, that's what she's going to try to do, as opposed to strength. Uh, he's still traveling to China. Meanwhile, over here, we have Kangor Batur. We'll try to uh, investigate him as well. He's also going to try to look into their past. We don't really have any strong agents. Hopefully, that doesn't come back to bite me. But let's just give it a day. All right. Uh, Saint was not able to find anything about the Indian scientist. That's too bad. Whoops. Wait a minute. Uh, aha, and has some compromising files. She is paranoid. Also in America, it did not go well. All right, so that sort of sucks. But that's fine. What we'll just do, since uh, she has some compromising files, what we'll try to do is... Hmm. Is there possibly... Wait, now we're going to try to see if there's any more scientists here first. Now, meanwhile, here in America, uh, this did not go well, the investigation. So... Wait, it says here we're able to hack. Yeah, let's use this. Let's try to take control of a drone. Hacking will allow our agent to steal or destroy scientific data belonging to an enemy nation. All right. Okay, you can choose the target from this map. I'm, I'm, I'm reading this stuff because I'm, I want you guys to understand how it works. You can choose the target from this map, the state of alert for that nation and their defensive technologies, as well as the geographic position of the hacker, all influence the chance of success. Hmm. If the hacker is in your nation, they'll benefit from a full logistics infrastructure to make their work easier, but in the event of failure, your target will know that you ordered the operation and will have diplomatic consequences. So that's why, so it's good to do it from your home base in Russia, but then Russia's going to have issues on the international scale if people find out that they're trying to uh, influence, you know, they're, they're, they're engaging in intelligence operations. So, if the hacker is located in the target country, the geographic proximity will increase their chances of success, but in the event of failure, your agent may be potentially captured, physically traced, and potentially captured. And if the hacker is in a third country, their operation will be completely secret, but their remoteness and the lack of specialist infrastructure will impact their effectiveness. So, you know, she's actually pretty good already. So I think what we'll do is we will try to, since we're in a neutral country, relatively neutral, to, to reiterate basically what they're saying is, my, my, you know, we're based out of Russia and we're in the United States. But if we try to do something that's neither of those countries, it cannot be traced. But it might fail. Uh, we're gonna go for Germany. Yeah, we're gonna try to hack Germany. Uh, we're gonna let's see. We can lower the alert. Let's uh, let's see. In, let's actually go to India. In, install ransomware. Report back to us in two days. And finally, who's not doing anything over here? Our saint. Uh, who was not able to investigate very well. <sighs> Try to locate a new scientist. 
And let's have our surveillance drone also come down here to India. We'll end our turn. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we penetrated the research facility. I think I collected all the information we need, but they spotted me. So the alert level is now up in India. <sighs> wow, this guy is just not doing good, is he? Um, and 88 got in here into China without being detected. Oh, cool. Here's our first uh, spousal event. Conquering. I heard you were assigned as head of the Sigma Division. And so you just talk to her. So we're going to say... Uh, we're going to say, thank you, Zulu. Your love and support gets me through my missions. Which she says, I'm touched, Conquering. But don't go out of your way. We both know all about the dangerous game of politics. We're going to need to help each other. If I can count on you, you can count on me. Your romantic relationship has improved. <clears throat> Great. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to continue to record until you guys give me a little bit of feedback. Do you want to see me continue this? I probably will continue it anyway, but tell me what you're interested in. Tell me what you want to see me do. Ask some questions. Um, so if you, if, you're, if you don't understand something that I've talked about. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to click the notification bell so you're always notified whenever a new video on this channel, such as in this campaign, goes up. And thanks again to Goblins Studios for providing me with this code. Uh, and I'll see you then. Bye.